I recently got um, basically a freelance gig where temporarily where I am designing someone's website. It's for this team of people. They're starting like this academic internship fellowship thing. They're in London. Um, and like I'm just designing their website in Squarespace and it's a team of three people. And so that's sort of like a lot of people to coordinate with and like figure out design stuff. I've already started the project. They're paying pretty generously, which is really nice. It's like definitely worth my time to do this for sure. <sighs> yeah, I have to design some homepage mockups for them in Adobe XD today to have that for this evening because tomorrow morning, like bright and early at 10 a.m., I am calling them. So we're gonna talk because it's gonna be like mid-afternoon their time in London. So we're doing that and then once that project is finished, they want it done pretty soon. Part of the reason they're paying so generously is because of the rapid turnaround time. So they want this done by like next week, which I think is doable if we progress this current pace and we like figure out what we want in terms of the design. I do have a clear plan to move forward on that. And then I also wanna finish the oil painting that we started yesterday, which for you guys was like last week. Um, but yeah, so for me, that was yesterday. I wanna wrap that up today if we can. Totally fine if we can't, but I do think it's in a state that we could probably finish it up. And it's just supposed to be like a, like a really quick practice painting. I wanna do more quick paintings and oils. I wanna do more like small things that I'm not spending a super long time on. Um, because I do have a really, really big panel that I want to work on, and I know exactly what I want to paint on it, but I want to get some more practice with oils first. You know what I just remembered? I was like, wait, why is no one here? It's in an hour. It's at 11 a.m. It's not at 10 a.m. Ooh. That was pretty silly of me. Um, so what do I do for the hour? I don't know. Um, I don't have enough time to shoot that video. That will have to wait. But, hmm. Breakfast, maybe? Now, Bill Brooke, my colleagues in the media are serving as accessories to the murder of democracy. 
unpack here. So, Dan and I touched on this story about the Celtics COVID uh, last week briefly. But Ashley Parker and John Dossie have been doing a great job laying out just how many people he knows. Like, to a two barrel, to a straw, to neutral, whatever. And it's like, oh, you're arguing on points, you're being neutral to both Biden and Trump? Trump tried to fucking kill half the press corps and then for good measure tried to take some grieving families with him. Chris Christie was so sick. He had a priest rubbing oil in the shape of a cross on his forehead. Popovers were a success. The website meeting also went pretty well. I'm gonna have that for that on Tuesday. Crazy turnaround time. They were like, can you have it by Monday? And I was like, no. <laughs> Respectfully, no. Not possible. They're paying me $70 an hour to work on this website. And just like the level of happiness that I feel working for this wage rather than like $25 an hour, unreal. Unreal. It's so much better. Money doesn't buy happiness, no. But it definitely helps. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. It definitely helps, like, knowing that you're not actively being exploited for your labor, that it's most definitely worth more. You know what I mean? It's, like, completely, completely different mindset. Like, I'm so much happier, even though, like, I know this is, like, a big project and it's a lot of work. But I somehow just, like, totally fun working on it. Because it's, like, I'm making bank right now. This is totally fine. Like, who cares? I'm making triple what I usually do. Like, fine. Good. Um... Anyway, I need to eat my brunch at this point and finish like planning that video and then I have to film it. And so I'm gonna see you guys later. Oh geez, okay. I am really feeling the pressure now. <laughs> Remember a few days ago and I was like, I have a handle on this. Like, everything is fine. Everything is not fine. Everything is so, so not fine. Oh my God, it's so much work. Three videos a week. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Oh my God, Whew. I made such a huge mistake. I'm editing the video. I'm like maybe a quarter of the way through the edit and First of all, I had to re-film this video because I filmed it yesterday and then I got a massive headache after. The video honestly wasn't even that good, so that's why I redid it and I think it is much better now, first of all. Hang on, I have to plug in my computer. Um, okay, hang on, hang on, okay, sorry, I forgot that it was plugged in. Um, I had to re-film the video and then... I like refilmed it, I'm editing it now, and now I'm just like, this is fine, but it's so much work. <laughs> editing is so much work, and I don't want the video to be garbage. I don't want the video to be garbage. Sorry, the fan is on, I'm really sorry about that. Um, I really don't want the video to be garbage. I want it to be good, I want it to be a good video, but it's just, uh, I'm so tired. So, so tired. Uh, and I have, this web design client that I'm working with that I've been telling you guys about, they want the video to go live on Tuesday, which is doable, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to like have a video on Monday if they want the website to go live on Tuesday because I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to work all day on Monday. And then I want to like actually go out of the house. <laughs> and like do things and be a real person with a social life as well and that yeah it's tricky so i think we're gonna skip monday's upload and do a vlog on wednesday but fuck i'll have to have a video for friday oh god why did i do this <laughs> we'll skip monday let us be what it is but yeah okay I have to finish editing this video now, which I'm not looking forward to, to be honest. But I do want to get it up today, because if I don't get it up today, then it's going to haunt me tomorrow. And tomorrow, I need to work. And I also have an eye appointment scheduled for Monday as well, because I don't know if you guys can tell at all, but there's this huge scratch in my glasses right here. Can you see that? Yeah, there it is. 
It's it's like it's a big scratch and it's been there for months. Like ages. Ages and ages and ages. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this fixed. Um, I'm gonna get like, you know, an eye appointment while I still have health insurance. It was like legitimately a year ago. And um, you know what I did? Not that. Never did that. I was living in Alaska when this happened. Do you know how long ago that was? Jeez, it, yeah, it was ages and ages ago. Um, and I just never got it done. And now I had to pay $75 for an eye appointment. Like a quick checkup, which is like not that much. Totally doable. It's like an hour's worth of work at my web design project right now. So, you know, I, I, I can afford it for sure. But yeah, and then I have to get new glasses or at least new lenses. But I can't just like exist without glasses. So that means that I have to get probably a new pair and then also the lenses replaced later. And I have an extra pair of glasses too that are very old that I could get the lenses replaced on, but I don't think I'd be able to see through them well. Oh wow, the lighting changed. When did that happen? I am so sorry. This is a mess. This clip is a disaster. I am so sorry for everything right now. Um, yeah, okay. I need to finish editing this video. I saw this past week was kind of a lot. I was able to make three months worth of wages as a virtual assistant in 10 days as a web designer, so the distribution of my skill set in terms of like future priorities is pretty clear. I'm probably going to try and get more web design work at the same pay scale in the future so that I can scale back my work as a virtual so I can scale back my work as a virtual assistant and yeah, I mean, there are plenty of people who are able to make six figures just doing web design, and I don't want to be one of those people. Obviously, I have very different goals for my own future and where I want to be, but because I have these skills and I'm trying to transition right now away from my current job and into something else, I think that this could be a good skill set for me to develop more and try to get more clients in this arena. And it was nice to be able to brush up on my web design skill set because as you guys know, I have been procrastinating designing my own website for probably a year now, something like that. It's yeah, it's been a lot and I've sort of been just putting it off and putting it off again. But as you guys saw in the 2022 goal setting video that is to date my most successful release ever in the first couple of days so that is amazing but as you guys saw in that video i do have a goal to make that website and launch it and everything in the beginning of the new year so it was nice to actually be able to work on this project and like realize that i actually can design websites and they do look nice at the end so anyway yeah that was that was nice to discover but the project did come with a lot of costs just because of the big time commitment, right? So I had to skip the upload on Monday. I had to put a lot of art making and stuff on the back burner. And the paintings that you guys are seeing me work on right now are not particularly good. Um, I always have this problem when I don't paint for a little while or I do really like high stress work that isn't creative that like when I come back to making art again, I'm like two steps behind where I was before. And it takes me a few tries to really get into the swing of things again and really like get back into that creative mindset because I think my brain just kind of shifts gears and it's tricky to get back into that headspace again. But 
So we try painting this landscape two separate times, one in a portrait orientation, the next in a landscape, and neither of them turned out like the way that I wanted. I do think that the landscape one was probably a more successful composition, but still I wasn't able to execute it quite right, and I think looking back at these painting processes, I wish I had started out in oils and done just like a quick study maybe on my oil painting paper instead of trying to do gouache again because gouache is at least for me just like much harder and it requires a very different workflow than what i'm used to with oils and i think oil painting is so deeply ingrained in my brain and my like way of working that i think it probably would have been more successful had i tried it in oils but that is a project for another day we do end up settling into this like orange tree branch painting. Um, not exactly sure what it is, but it is very pretty and I did love working on this. I found that like because of all of the abstract shapes involved here, I was able to get really expressive and have a really fun time with it. And I think that is kind of like the painting that I needed in my life after this really high demanding project. Just like something where I could check out a little bit and just put marks on the page and see what happens and approach it from a more like loose exploratory kind of perspective. And I think that's what really helped me transition back into creative work. So I definitely ex so I definitely had a little bit of burnout this week for sure. Nothing really intense. And I think I'm going to take the rest of the day off after I finish recording this voiceover to just sort of unwind a little bit. And it is really hard for me to take days off just because like there are always just because there are always other things that I can do for this channel. I can always work on revamping old thumbnails. I can always work on crafting my strategy. I can always work on researching keywords and sort of the work of a content creator kind of never stops. And because of the nature of freelance work and being an independent artist or trying to become one, there are no set working hours. There are no regimented work schedules where I have like concrete days off. And you guys didn't see it on this vlog, but I worked like all day on Saturday and I did take all of Sunday off, which was really nice. I was able to go to this board game cafe in the west side with some of my friends. So I met my friend Margaret in college, but she met her friend Julian in high school and now Julian lives in New York City. So Margaret hooked me up with Julian and we've been hanging out recently. We went to go see the latest Wes Anderson film together. That was a lot of fun. A few I think it was over a month ago now. And this past weekend, Drake and I went to go meet up with Julian and his boyfriend, Jack, at Hex, which is that board game cafe that I mentioned. And it was a lot of fun. I really, really recommend it if you live in the city. It was just, it was a blast. It was like so enjoyable to just like play board games and also be able to order mozzarella sticks and garlic bread. It was just, it was a really good time. I really highly recommend. And I've also tried to start incorporating more like set activities just by myself. So Drake is going to Iceland this week to go meet up with some friends. And so I booked myself a ticket to go see Spider-Man, um, the latest Spider-Man movie at the Alamo Draft House in Lower Manhattan. So that'll be a lot of fun. I really love the Alamo Draft House Theater. It has like these recliner seats and you can order food and drinks and they have really good milkshakes and it was it's an honestly and it's an honestly amazing movie going experience. So I'm really looking forward to be able to like enjoy the latest Marvel film like that. I don't I acknowledge that like Marvel movies are not peak cinema, of course, but I grew up watching them in high school. My friends and I, we would like religiously go and see every single Marvel movie. I was friends with a lot of like comic book guys in high school and they were just like so sweet and so welcoming and so, so supportive. And it was just, it was like peak friend group vibes for me in high school. The friend group that I had was just stellar. And so I have a lot of nostalgia and good memories associated with Marvel movies. So. They're not peak cinema, they're not always particularly good, but I do love going to see them and they are a lot of fun, so. Anyway, that basically brings me to the end of this voiceover. I hope you guys had a better week than I did. I hope you have a great weekend and 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to post on Friday. I'm going to do my best, but no promises. But if not, I will see you guys again next week, and I hope you have a good one. All right, bye guys.